and I'm doing one of my slice of life shows. It's the uh, May meeting of the Yorktown Chamber of Commerce with its president, Eric D. Bartolo, and other guests. I'm very honored tonight to be with the Chamber of Commerce, the Yorktown Chamber of Commerce, and its fine president, Eric D. Bartolo. How are you evening, doing, George. Eric? Thank you for coming. Good Is, evening. Isn't it a beautiful night tonight at Victoria Z's here in Jefferson Valley? Yes, and we're very excited. I have my wife, Elizabeth, here with us. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you doing? Hello, George. Nice to see you. You're lucky Thank you to for have coming. A great man like Eric. I'm very lucky. Hubby. So we are, uh, we're here to honor uh, Business Person of the Year. Uh -huh. Business of the Year and, I, and Civic Organization of the Year. And now, who is that? Joe Rena from Site Design Consultant will be the Business Person of the Year. Well, he may be making a little speech yes, tonight. Yes, he will be. We'll have he to cover be. that on yes. the George On Deck show. That would be important. And you know, it's, uh, it's all about going through a year of people that have done a real lot in the town of Yorktown for business, for everybody, just for the town of Yorktown. And so we're excited to be here tonight with a, with a great group of people to have a real lot of fun and just to say thank you and, and recognize some really special people in Yorktown. And business is what it's all about. It makes our country the go, small right? business, The small, small business, business is what keeps it going. Gotta help the businesses. You know, it's, you gotta, and that's one thing with the chamber we do, George. It's all about the business. And I'm very honored. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a member. You are a member, Yay. as of tonight. Thank you. Congratulations. So you, got so you on, make, you make it, time. You, bring right. our, you bring our roles up to about 496, 95 businesses and, and people. We have to put a couple of zeros on that That's in the it. next we year. Have to, we have to yes. do whatever we can do. Yes. But listen, enjoy, please. Yep. Interview people, interview the people that are being honored and uh, and have a great night. And, uh, and you anybody too. anybody that wants to know about the chamber or join the chamber, please, 245-4599. What is your contact number again? 245-4599. That's for people who may want to join. Interest, any interest they have with the chamber, anything they want to know about the from chamber. From what I understand, you promote businesses, and once a month you have a nice dinner like this yes. with a guest speaker. Yes. And uh, you have a lot of breakfasts. We do a lot well. of breakfast. We do a lot of networking. Needs. Tremendous networking. And what does your wife do besides being a lovely housewife? Do you I know? own a spa down in Rye. You do? And I, we also own a pet what, cream. What's the name of that spa? You're a laser spa in Rye, New York. You know, one of the things I feature on my TV show is spas. Oh, really? So we'll yeah. We'll have to cover your event. For 15 your years. Wow. wow. Yeah. I had Lisa uh, okay. Avellino. So I want you to okay. interview the owner. Okay, yes, come on. You stay here while I interview him, too. All right. Okay. I'm now with the fine owner of Victoria Z's place, right? Yes, Victoria's on the lake. I think I was here when you first opened up. Uh, how many yes. months ago was that? Uh, about three months ago. Okay, so you're still sort of doing a grand opening. Yep. Where people are getting to know you. They right? are, yep. We're almost done with our renovations, a, and we'll, we'll be ready to go basically in the next couple months. It's a beautiful spot here on yes, the lake. It is. And it's a beautiful place to have a party or a dinner. Absolutely. We do everything. Small dinners to large dinners, weddings. Do, do I do I hear you own another fine place in uh, Yorktown? We do. We own Frankie and Audie's uh, right across the street. You don't know this. My wife goes to your other oh, place yeah? a lot. She goes with her, my cousin's wife, and they have lunch there. Oh, lot. very nice. And she loves your salads. I appreciate it. Yeah, we've been there 10 years. We just, cel uh, ten, we just celebrated 10 year anniversary. Man. I, I hear that's a landmark. Oh, in, uh, yeah. Uh, that's the, the that's finest what Italian food and sauce. We appreciate it, yes. Okay. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. All right. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. I'm now with the town supervisor of Yorktown, and you're a member of the cha Chamber of Commerce? I have belonged to the chamber at one time, but no, right at the, at the moment, I don't have a business in the town. So, okay, I, so I, the only here. business I have is, my, is the business of the town. So. And you're here to enjoy the dinner tonight? Yes, I am, and to, uh, to uh, honor the, guest honor of the honor. guests of honors. I have uh, certificates of appreciation for the uh, honorees. Okay. And that's uh, that's my purpose here and tonight. And I hear Yorktown is moving onward. It and is. We're uh, we're moving in the right direction, and uh, uh, we're uh, promoting the business, but we're also doing it in a smart way. Okay. I thank you very much. Thank you, George. A pleasure. I'm here with. Good evening. I'm here with Casey Hill. And. Okay. <laughs> No. So what should I say? Um, Good evening, I'm Nancy Rago, executive director, yeah. and I'm here with Casey Hill and her friends. And her father is being honored tonight. Yeah. Um, 
I now have my next guest, but I'm here with uh, the executive. Good, af good evening, Nancy Stingone, the executive director of the Yorktown Chamber of Commerce. And I'm here today with Casey Hill. Hi, Casey. Hi. And she is Cherise Jervis Hill's daughter of a Venstry member who is being honored this evening. I hear. And, and also, who's this lovely young man here? My name is Patrick and I work for Sharice. I'm her event coordinator. Beautiful. And uh, these two lovely ladies are her friends right. and they're also What's your here name? representing Jan Merchandani, Westchester Marketing Cafe. Tom 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 George on deck from the George on deck cable TV How show. You? And you're on TV oh. tonight. <laughs> okay, thank you okay, all. Thank yes, you. very good. Yeah. I'm now very honored to have Judge Sal Lagonia. Sal Lagonia. I hear you're quite a trumpet player too. Is uh, it? No. What? What? I try. Yep. Yep. I try. You're going to be doing a summer concert this year. We'll be with doing. Your band? We are the headliners for the summer concert at uh, in Yorktown, and uh, looking forward to it. Our our leader Gary Casano will be uh, putting on his show up there, and we're going to be backing him up. What some of the shows do you know yet for this summer? We'll oh, we're we're booked right now until October 12th. So wow, wow. we're we're a pretty busy band. You, you got to. Sounds good. Yeah, it does sound good. Will, That's I, be, why I, will I be seeing you at Pete and Pete Skill on the Paramount with a patriotic show? I will be at the Paramount on December 1st. Uh, we're doing an all-star show there to rep to raise money for veterans. So it'll be a great program. I salute you for helping the veterans. You know I'm a disabled veteran. I know you are. I know you are. Keep up the good work. Thank nice you, Nice having you on the George on Deck show. Always tonight. good to talk to you. I'm now with Tony Grasso. Tony, uh, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing wait, wait. So, What happened? Testing, one, two, three, testing. I'm now with Tony Grasso. How are you doing, Tony? Just fine, George. Just I hear fine. you've been a member of the uh, chamber for a long time. I think I'm about six or seven years. Six yeah. or seven years, and you're an ex-councilman from Yorktown? Yes, I served. But I know you're very involved uh, with volunteer organizations, Cherko da, da Vinci. Is right. That, did I say it right, Tony? Yes, you did. For a Czechoslovakian to say... Not bad, not bad, <laughs> not bad, George. All right, so uh, you have these uh, monthly meetings at... Is it always at this fine restaurant? No, 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 this is a special occasion. Uh -huh. where we uh, say thank you to the people that are working within the town, like our featured one, Joe Fina, yeah. very fine uh, engineer, has done a lot of good work in town. And uh, as you know, I attend all the planning board meetings and all the town board meetings. You're a community activist like I am in my hometown, well, but we won't mention that today. No, no, we won't. <laughs> well, you know, I... Uh, I have to get a copy of the uh, Yorktown News so you can read my letter to the editor. Okay, well, we don't want to say nothing political tonight. It's, it's not political. Oh, okay. It's not political Hey, at let's all. have a nice picture here. Tony oh, yeah. Grasso and George Ongo. Yes, no. Uh, expressing my views as to what's happening in town. Yeah. How we can get our senior citizens so... That would be nice. And, and without court, without the taxpayers paying for it. Beautiful. Okay. It's just a question of understanding municipal finance. Tony, we want you to keep up the good work and we want you to go another 91 years. How's well, that? Well, that's where I'm at right now. Are you really? You're, yes. too, you're much too young to be a... Uh, well, 91 is not old. It's young. You make me feel young. Well, I'm very honored now to have our fine state senator, Terrence Murphy. How are you doing, Mr. Murphy? Oh, uh, George, we're doing awesome. It's great to be back home next to my good buddy, Councilman Diana. Oh, George, Councilman how are you? Diana, very good. Uh, good you're both you. proud of me becoming a member of the Yorktown Chamber of Commerce. Tonight? It is an awesome chamber. Look at all the people here. This yes, is what it's all yes, about, yes. taking care of the people that actually take it into our community and uh, do the right thing and help out. And when times are in need, they and step I, up to the plate. And I hear you're doing a lot up in Albany for the veterans, of which I'm a disabled Vietnam yeah. vet. Yeah, and we'll always do that. As a matter of fact, it's ironic that you say this because we just had our Veterans Hall of Fame up there. Right. And yeah. uh, that was just this past week. This you know, past Tuesday. You know, I was put in the second year of the Hall of Fame. I should have been on that list. Awesome. It's great. But it's a I great know, honor. Next, yes. All of our veterans deserve all the accolades and all the services. By the way, I'm going to lobby you Absolutely. tonight. You are? About Le what? Legalized sports betting in New York. 
the U.S. Supreme Court justice just over just ruled and said it's okay. What do you think about that? What I I, I couldn't hear Legalized the question. Legalized sports betting in New York and in the United States. Supreme Court just ruled on it. Yeah, well, you know, uh, it, it, it's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm staying on deck with George. How's You're on that? deck with <laughs> Great. But well, it was it's great, great to see you. you. And we like seeing you in my hometown of Peekskill every so often. Too. I'm o I was over there today, matter of fact. Uh -huh. I was at Local 21, the Steam Fitters and the Pipe Fitters. They're good people. I just got their endorsement today, and they, and and they did their... Um, they did their uh, where everybody comes together and uh, they're. Uh, and we're looking forward to seeing you on Memorial Day at our show. Yeah, well, Memorial Day we have about 27 different places that we get to. We between the wreaths, uh, we go from uh, Dutchess County to Putnam County to uh, Westchester County. So, to all our veterans, God bless you and thank well, you for if your you service. You can't make it. I'm sure you'll have a fine representative. We will most certainly. Michael Absolutely. Jefferson. Michael Jefferson will be there. <laughs> George Good to great. see you too, pal. And, hope you enjoy and I'm the, uh, honored to be a member of the Yorktown Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Yep. Keep Eric's up, doing a great job here. Yes, Everybody, he the whole, the whole. Hope board. you enjoy the chamber thing oh, here. I mean, this is what this I, is what Yorktown's about to I, keep it together. And I enjoy the summer concerts in Devito Park. You, you have anything to do with that one? Uh, the Lions actually has to do with that, and uh, the chamber helps sponsor it, if I'm not mistaken. But you know, moving Yorktown forward, this is what it's all about, okay. and the chamber does that 100. percent Thanks a lot, now, okay. buddy. Thank you. As a new member of the Yorktown Chamber of Commerce, I want to introduce some of the members here. Uh, what's your name? Craig Scaldone. Craig, what kind of business do you have? I'm involved with the Trowbuck Athletic Club here tonight. Are uh, you the owner of it? No, I'm not. I'm the director of Girls Lacrosse. Girls Lacrosse? Yes, that's right. I, I need to learn some lacrosse. I can teach you. But I'm not a girl. <laughs> I can work And with who's you. this lovely lady? I'm his wife, Jennifer Scaldone. And who's this? John Campobasso. And who's this? Hi, Jennifer Campobasso. I hear you help women and men work out there and everything. They do. Can you work on this for me? I want to get rid of this before beach season. I can take okay. care of it all. all, all right. I can so take I'll care be of you. talking to you. Everything. All right. Take care. You got have a good nice night. Thank you. you. Enjoy. Nice meeting you. A nice thank, meeting thank you. Thank you. I'm now with two foreign people who are members of the Yorktown Chamber of Commerce. And I met this young man here. He's very good at raising money for good causes. Yes, sir. What's your name again? Richard Sonato. And Richard, what organization are you involved with? I'm the founder and uh, CEO for uh, the Children's Cancer Foundation Love Holds Life, which is here in the Hudson Valley. And who do you help with this foundation? I help children uh, that have cancer financially. And what do you have coming up in Peekskill very shortly? Peekskill, uh, we have our signature event in Peekskill. It's every year. Um, it's the second Saturday of December. We have our annual toy giveaway at the Paramount Theater. And I've seen you doing that. Yes. Because I live in Peekskill. Yes. And who's this lovely young lady who's here with you? Carmen Sonato. And Carmen, how are you involved with this agency? I'm the president. President? Love holds life, yes. It's about time we had a woman president <laughs> in America. Uh, yes, I want to promise for you that on June 7th you'll come to the Cablevision studio, Altima, with this fine man and we can talk about the... Absolutely. Okay, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Family, we wish you the best of luck. It's small business, it's family business, and that's what the Chamber's about. Would you like to say that? You are friend. We appreciate it. So, we're going to move along quickly, and then everybody just enjoy yourself, the food, and the camaraderie is extremely important. Um, we're going to start the program just a little bit backwards. So, Sergio, if you'd like to present the athletic clubs. Good evening, everybody. I hope everybody's having a great time, and uh, thank you for coming. Quite a turnout, and uh, it's always great to see chamber, the, the chamber alive and well. And uh, working for you guys and you guys supporting us back, we really appreciate you coming. I always get excited when I speak about the Shrub Oak Athletic Club and the Yorktown Athletic Club. They've been a big part of my life growing up what has, when I moved into Yorktown. Um, I was part of the Yorktown Athletic Club and these organizations are do so much for our community. Just from providing a place for the kids to excel, to show off, to exceed, uh, to you know, providing a safe haven for our kids in this community and in this world that we live in. And I really appreciate that. So I want to give them a round of applause right now. Just to so, 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 
like I said, I, I don't want to, like, you know, uh, be long in the tube. I want to invite you guys up here. John, you're here. Please come up. Say a couple words. Is Steve Rose in here? Yeah, that's it. I get it. Okay. All right. Well, we'll get it. John, come up. Say a few words. This is John Campofasso is the president of the York County Athletic Club. Round of applause. Here. You know how I hate the microphone, but uh, I would like to thank the chamber for um, honoring us tonight. Uh, Troll Oak Athletic Club as well. I, I, I think it's pretty selfish that I'm up here by myself. We have this great group over here. I ask you guys to please stand up. Husband and wife. Without all the work of these men and women, uh, we don't exist as a club, so big hands to them. Thank you. It's extremely, uh, I can't believe it. This is our 70th anniversary for the Yorktown Athletic Club. Uh, 1948 was our first year, so, you know, I hope that we do a good job for all the kids. Uh, we appreciate your support. Uh, we appreciate the town board, former town board, everybody who comes out and helps us out. Uh, we can't exist without, you know, your support. So thank you to everybody here. We appreciate the night, but it's all about the kids for us, so it's that's the most important thing. Thank you. Come on. Hey, anyway, say a few words, please. Mike Sitzmano, the... Uh, Director of Public Relations for Shrubble Cup Athletic Club, and uh, I reiterate everything that Anthony said. It is a great honor, and thank you to the Chamber for uh, honoring us. It's difficult, as everybody knows, sort of uh, being a youth organization in this you know day and age. It's it's difficult at times, but to have volunteers, coaches, parents, and the directors, it makes everything worthwhile. And it's all about the kids. And when you you know you hear these tragedies like what happened in Texas today, you sort of take a step back and, and we're very lucky to be able to you know, sit with the kids and, and have them learn you know, discipline and, and respect and those sort of things. So anything that we can do, we really appreciate it. We appreciate and are honored to be part of this town for not so much as seven, I think it's 55 years for, for Shrubble Athletic. We're older. Yes. We're <laughs> <laughs> well, older, that's good. Older than <laughs> But uh, thank you very much, and like you said, everyone that entrusts their kids in, into uh, our organizations, it's, uh, it's definitely a great honor, and we hope to do for many, many years to come. Thank you. Thank you so much. St. Jude's Children's Hospital, a check for $1,000 today for our Spring Fest. And you want to talk about a really good family. We get a lot from day to day, we take things for granted, and you know, everything is fine, until unfortunately you're looking down the barrel of your gun and, and you think there's no other way because it's just a horrible thing. And so we had board members come together and, and the chamber board came together and something that we wanted to do. And it was so, so gratifying today to be able to turn around and be able to hand the check over for $1,000 to St. Jude's. I wish we could have given you $100,000, but it's what we do. It's just not about the business, it's about the community. The next person and the next people we're going to call up is uh, the business of the year. And there's nobody that does not know events to remember. Is that correct? Cherise? Okay. Cherise isn't with us tonight because her daughter's graduated, but we have the next best for daughter. Can you please come up? <laughs> so, we looked around and there's a million great businesses in town, but events to remember every time we do our street fairs, every time we do ball drops, everything that we do in our town. Charisse and her team are always there and they never ever ever say no they never say it can't happen 
I could be a large pain in the foot to ask my wife because there's certain things I want that sometimes are not reasonable and she needs to say, but Eric, and then Nancy will say, Eric. And so we make it work. But truthfully, this award is going to a business, to a, to a family, because that's what you guys truly are, and your family is um, It's just events to remember has done so much, and we just like to recognize you and say thank you. How about a few words? Hi everyone, my name is Casey, and even though I look a lot like my mom, I'm not her. <laughs> um, my older sister, China, is graduating with her master's degree from Fresno State in California. Um, and right now my parents are there celebrating with her, but I'm honored to be here celebrating with you. I'm in good hands with Jan and Stacy, two of my mom's closest friends, and her peer peer business group members, along with Patrick, our event coordinator, and Mary, our office assistant, our office assistant, both from Events to Remember. Barbara, our outreach coordinator, is at a family wedding, and it is a busy Friday for sure. Before I hand over the mic to Jan and Stacy for a couple of quick words, I'd like I'd just like to say my mom was so excited and honored that you chose Events to Remember. She loves the Yorktown Chamber. You all are like a family to us. I've been working the festival since I was in elementary school, and my whole family loves it, so thank you. Thank you, Casey. That was great. Um, we are honored and humbled to be here to accept this award on behalf of Charisse events to remember and her team. Uh, we are not part of events to remember. I am Stacey Tompkins from Tompkins X today and Janet Richardani from Cafe Market with of course <laughs> But we are honored to be here and, and so thankful and I know Shirley is thrilled to accept this and uh, I'm gonna pass this over to her. Thank you. So um, I just want to say a quick word. You know, Cherise and her um, prepared comments, um, you know, she's too humble to really talk about how much the community really means to her. Um, but Cherise volunteers every Wednesday um, down at the uh, Corrections Department um, to mentor um, teens and, and youth that have um, unfortunately, you know, made some bad choices, but she's out there in the community. Um, our community here in Yorktown um, and Portland means um, the world to her. So on behalf of Cherise, on behalf of the Events to Remember team, I want to thank you all for coming out um, and to celebrate Cherise and Events to Remember. Thank you. So the next person who uh, everybody knows and everybody calls on when you need a job done correctly, quickly, and perfectly. He's been established in Yorktown for 33 years. He was, and I say this with complete honor, the right hand of Al Capolini. His office staff, his people, it's never known. Whether it's a small job or it's a tremendous job, and the support that he's given to the Yorktown Chamber of Commerce over the years, whether it be the scholarship committee, or just showing up, or just lending a helping hand. You can't say enough about site design development and Joseph Arena with his staff. Joe, would you please come up? Since then, the Chamber has grown 
to be a strong representative of the business community and a dynamic civic organization. With my business representing prospective development projects, the Chamber, support, and encouragement is a valued asset since they have a pulse on the community. The Chamber clearly has a genuine interest and a significant presence in the town. I urge the Chamber to keep working with the community to stimulate economic growth and development. Most importantly, the Chamber is about relate, building relationships. For me, these relationships extend among clients, peers, town government, and others. Being able to have the trust of people is crucial to success. It's always about uh, my company's success is based on a consistent formula and principles. It's always about doing the right thing, about being honest, treating our clients with respect, and timely service. All of this has resulted in our continued ability to maintain a steady, solid relationship. For this, I have developed a close circle, from this I have developed a close circle of friends here in the town whose interaction and camaraderie I enjoy immensely. One of my closest friends, who is a friend to many of us here, is Al Capilini. He was also a fellow chamber member and on the board of directors. Al had a significant influence in my professional and personal life. He was a mentor, counselor, confidant, and guide. Al and I teamed together on many projects here in the town, throughout the town. I miss him. He is missed by all who knew him. Accepting this, this award, I am reminded of him. And I ask you to please raise a glass and toast Al. Here, here, Al. Thank you, Chamber of Commerce, for this honor. I'm glad I got this.
Supervisor here, who is now Board of Director, and we have done so much together, and we continue to do, and he's, and he's brilliant moving forward. Michael Grace, Michael. <laughs> gentleman that's, I call him my right hand, Sergio's the left, he's the right, he got me involved with the ball drop, he gets me involved with a lot of things that I don't want, and the ball drop in the town of Yorktown was his idea, he does so much for the change, but he's always there, Tommy Diana, Tommy Diana. We can go on all night, we've got some really great friends, and really great people here, but, but there's one person, especially what has happened in the last 24 hours, um, everybody knows that I'm huge with emergency services. Um, I've always been. And I would, at this time, and I want to say before I make a mistake, we have some very nice proclamations from the town of Yorktown. We have them from the state of New York, from the senator. But I would ask the chief of police to come up and just say a few words for us because we live the way we live because the chief and his men give Yorktown what we consider safety and comfort. I don't know what to say after that, but uh, thank you all very much. Congratulations to all the recipients. Mr. Arena, Casey, you go to school in May, right? So please, tell Arnold and Charisse, congratulations. And to the uh, Yorktown Athletic Club, and my very own Shrub Oak Athletic Club, who I was on board for several years. <laughs> you know, John, you said it. Um, you said you keep people safe, right? And they remember people. And you know what, with kids, and you saw what happened in Texas today, and it's, you know, it's, it's just shocking, but you hope the kids can come talk to somebody and let them know if they see something happening that way. It's going to be a coach that they hold in high regard. It may be a teacher, and it usually is, that they hold in high regard. And hopefully, with the school resource officers in the school, the kids will be building that bond, and they'll know that they can come to a police officer in this town, New York town, anywhere else and share that information. So, um, and also, congratulations, Eric, I didn't know you were leaving, congratulations. The Chamber of Commerce is such a tremendous, tremendous community partner. Anything New Yorktown Police Department is involved with, the Chamber has our back. And Sergio, I know you're gonna do a great job as well, but I can't thank them enough. And as I look around the room, there's just so many faces in here tonight that are so supportive. And I know you, you know, I can't thank everybody in this room enough for the support that the Police Department receives from all of you. So Shrub Oak, Yorktown Athletic Club, keep doing what you're doing with the kids. You're so vital in the community. Mr. Rita, congratulations. Keep making beautiful things in this town. And events to remember. Thanks. I know when I get a permit and Sharice Jervis Hill's name on it, I can sign off it without much trepidation. So thank you very, very much. No, I did not. Because I know what it takes to walk in those shoes. And he came out of a real rough winter. And we take it for granted. And you know, we sit there and that, that thing on Facebook, and I want to be politically correct, that Yorktown mom, whatever it is. But you know what? I only wish that those people could get in the truck and ride along with a hybrid superintendent or get in the truck and ride along with somebody and see what it takes and see what you worry about the kids on the school bus and, 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 and everything going on and what your responsibility factor is. So Dave, from, on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce, thank you for one hell of a year. God bless. This last one, I, I, and I'm doing it a little bit selfishly, but Yorktown has been extremely fortunate. We've been extremely, extremely, extremely fortunate to be able to bring in some big business, some small business. But I have to tell you, being president of the chamber and being able to pick up the phone and call Albany and speak to the senator directly. And if I don't, I speak to his staff. And people are going to say, oh, you're being I'm not being political. I'm telling you the facts. Whether it's Lowe's, whether it was Rainbow Bridge, whether it was the Bagel Emporium, whether it was the mall, Senator Murphy has delivered to me personally the three and a half years that I've been in the chamber like nobody else. 
when we needed to get things done for Yorktown, to make sure that projects were going to move through, and we're getting calls from a ton of people to say, what's happening, what's going on? They reached in the chamber. The ladies in the office, and I haven't gotten to either of them yet, and the phone calls just keep flying. And you know that you can make a phone call and give an answer. Might not be the answer that the developer wants, might not be the answer that the person wants, but you have an answer. It's huge. At this time, Senator Murphy, if you could come up, I'd just like to give you a small <laughs> Senator Terrence Murphy, thank you for all your support to the business community, Yorktown Chamber of Commerce. Senator, I can't thank you enough. First of all, thank you so much for the honor. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a, wasn't really expecting to come here and just congratulate the other honorees. Events to remember, my buddy Joe. You know, it's always great to go to the Friendly Sons with you every year. I know I'm calling time out to have a few beers with you every year. I make sure that we do that. And, uh, you know, Sergio brought up a, a, a point, and, and the uh, chief brought up a point about uh, YEC and SOAC. You are literally saving the kids' lives by keeping them busy on the field. I thank you for that. With the opioid epidemic that is ravishing the United States of America, nonetheless, New York State, you're doing everything we can possibly do to combat that, but keeping these kids busy. Tom, you'll be having my kid tomorrow, 2.30? I I honestly, it's, it's really unbelievably important. And, and you see on the screen here where, where Joe is, where Granite Knowles, that the entire community has gotten, gotten behind. And Joe's laid it out where we can continue to have these kids go in and make sure that they're, they're not getting into trouble. They're staying into sports. It builds up their self-esteem. It changes the physiology in their body. They think they're, they have more oxygen is getting into their, into their system. But it's a group effort. It's a team effort. And it really is. And this is why our, our community is so great. Yorktown is so great. And, and it is so great just to be home here. But to the chamber, you know what? Making New York an affordable place. Keep it up. We are we are at crosshairs in, in, in New York State. Uh, the number one issue is, was to open up our doors and, and allow economic development to come into New York. I chaired the uh, the Rules and Regulations Commission for the State of New York for two years, and I tried to no point intended, but tried to take the scalpel to as much of the rules and regulations as possible. There's stuff on the books since 1920. So if I don't like you, or I don't like your business, I can go back and do it. What we're trying to do is clear it up. If it's so important, bring it back up and put it back on the floor for a vote and make New York an affordable place for all of us to live, and most importantly, a safe place. So the SOAC, YIC, the Chief, keep up the great work keeping us safe. Joe, events to remember, God bless, keep up the great work. And the Chamber, thank you so much. So there's one person sitting in the room that's been real quiet tonight, and a lot of you might know him, a lot of you might not. We're ending this now, I'm not going to keep you here. It's going to flow, we're going to have a little coffee and, and cake. Um, before I get to that one person, the two ladies in the office, and I refer to them as the team, Margaret and Nancy, and anybody knows that is a member of the chamber, anybody knows the town, everybody knows, these two ladies are nonstop, constantly, and I'm the biggest pain in the foot. I, and, and they'll tell you, they don't like to say it too loud because they're worried about that Eric's wrath, but it's okay. <laughs> Ladies, um, truthfully, for the last three and a half years, I've made you both crazy. It's okay. But I truly want to thank you for everything that you've done to bring us to where we are. You never say no. You might say, Eric, really? Nancy, are you kidding me? But truthfully, I can't thank the two of you enough. This event was then. Every event we do is that. You know, we stand up there and look all pretty and happy and it's great, but... Behind every crazy president, you have the team. And I just want to thank you both for tremendously. Thank you. And a lot of people could take credit for Lowe's. There's truly one person that could take credit for Lowe's. Joe Visconti, can you stand up? Everybody to stand up for one minute for a moment of
the silence, and we're happy today with the students in the school shooting, and we're happy with the police. Thank you very much. Enjoy yourself. Have a great night. Thank you for coming to Chamber Thank you. I'm now closing out the George On Deck show at the uh, Yorktown Chamber. I'm with the head of Yorktown Auto Body, Perry and his Scott. lovely wife, Lisa. Lisa, do do I hear you fix cars or something? We're learning to fix cars. We're doing a pretty good job at that. How long have you been doing it? Thirty-two years. And how long have you been in Yorktown doing it? I've been in Yorktown nine years now. And what's your location? Where are you located? On at? Front Street, 1798 Front Street. I should have met you a week ago. You know what happened to me? George, you messed up, George. I know. Well, I didn't know you. How come I didn't know you? Now you, you know. And your lovely wife with her beautiful smile. Now you know, George. How were you so lucky to get such a beautiful wife? I own four body shops. Oh, is that the only reason? No. I didn't think so. How long are you married? We're married 25 years now. What? 25 years. Okay, if you want to double that and add four, you can catch up to Okay, I'm if, trying. Although I'm only 39 years old. Wow, that's hard to do. That's, there's a lie somewhere. There's somewhere. But where should people get their cars fixed? Yorktown Auto Body. It was a pleasure having Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice having you too. Thank you. And Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, George. Honored to be a member. Okay, okay. thank you very much. This is George On Deck closing out the latest edition of the Get On Deck show with George On Deck. It's been a great night in Jefferson Valley tonight at Victoria's Z's new restaurant. It's only been open a couple of months. And um, we've had the um, uh, Yorktown Chamber of Commerce with its president, Eric D. Bartolo, featured. Uh, Till next time.